Hi there, my name's Des Taylor and uh, I just want to show you a very simple rig that I use quite a lot um, and that's a popped up bait. I, I like popped up baits and I use them probably 99% of the time and the reason for that is I don't think a pike is a bottom eater. Of course he'll take things off the bottom. If you put things on the bottom or you bait up on the bottom, he will take things. But I think he likes, it's a lot easier. That big female comes along and if it's popped up straight in front of the face, that's a lot easier to take than a, a bottom bait. So I use these poppers a lot. So here you go. I just put the semi-barbed, put the barb there, the tag showing where the barb is, one up the top there, and then one just above the gill there. In you go. Perfect. Now what I do, even with uh, fairly sort of tough baits, I'll just put a little bit of our elastic just on there like so. I'll just wrap it around a couple of times like so. There. There you go. And then I'll put it round the hook like so and break it off. Perfect. And that will help not pulling out um, it, it, because what, what can happen sometimes when that pulls out that will come over the top and you can have a, a bad hook up, loose fish, loose fish like that. That's how you want the hook because if that comes over there not only does it uh, mask that but the, the fish is now holding a bait without a hook in it. Now people will say you know how long do you wait? You don't need to wait. With that distance there, when a decent pike grabs hold of it, he's hooked. He's got hooks in his mouth. He's got six hooks in his mouth. If it's a jack pike and you pull out, do you want him? You know, you don't want to catch him anyway, do you? You know, if he's coming, he's just grabbed in between. If there's a fish that's grabbed in between that, do you want to catch him? You know, I certainly don't, but certainly a fish that you can, the, the mouth covers those, those two hooks. Perfect. And what happens then? This pop-up just holds it up off the bottom, like so. And to my mind, that's the perfect presentation when a fish comes along and that's just there and you can see it. Now what I'll do very often is work the bait. So what I'll do is through the course of a session, I'll open the bail arm, well the bail arm's already open, I'll pull out the clip and let it come slowly to the top. And I think as soon as you cast in clear water, a pike has seen your bait, as soon as you cast in, you might not have a take for hours, you might not have a take all day, but I tell you what, that pike has definitely seen that bait. He's seen it land, he's seen it there. And I think sometimes he might be just sitting here, he might be sitting 20 yards away, he can still see the bait. And if that moves up, and if you trout fish or you lure fish, very often you'll have takes as the, the bait's going away from it. And does that think he's going away? Yes, he does, and he comes and grabs it. Or when you bring it back down, he thinks, I ain't gonna let that happen again. It. The amount of takes I have when I just reset after lifting the bait up. Good tip, you'll catch a lot of pike on that.